Hello and welcome to our next part uh, where we're going to be dealing with the lymphatic drainage of the head and neck. Okay, this is a quite a short video, but I'm just going to be taking you through the lymphatic drainage of uh, basically how fluid is taken away from the head and neck. If you look here at the screen, we can see some of the major lymph nodes which are, ex which are um, associated with the head and neck. So let's just take it round. Um, in the order in which one would do a respiratory examination. So you'd start off at your submental nodes. Remember this area here, mental, mental, go around chinning people after you've had a, a rough night out. Um, then we'll move around here to this area underneath the mandible, submandibular nodes. And if we swing around here, we're in front of the ear. The ear is the oracle, which is the, um, the ear flap. So in front of the ear, this is the preauricular or sometimes they're called the parotid nodes. Parotid, meaning parallel to the otid, the ear. That's where this gland gets its name from. If we swing back behind here, we have this area here. The names are just so lovely. They just do exactly, or they exactly um, give the exact location of where the lymph node is. This is your jugular area. That's your internal jugular vein there. And the digastric muscle swings round onto the mastoid process here. Jugular digastric node. If we swing back here, we're now behind the ear, we're behind the ear, so um, this is going to be your post-auricular, or sometimes called the mastoid node, because that's where your mastoid process is. If we swing back all the way back to the back here, this you know is the occiput, which is your um, protuberance at the back of the head, and this is your occipital node. If we drop down, we're down into the cervical area. Remember, cervical means neck. This is the neck region. This is the most superficial one, superficial cervical node. We drop down even further. We're following the line of the internal jugular. Remember, the nodes are following this sort of jugular system. Yep, so internal jugular vein. And th then we go deeper, deep cervical nodes, following again the neck, so that's superficial at the top deeper down at the bottom and then we get down here and um, we've got this muscle which is forming like a strap around here and down down to the shoulder it's going from the hyoid to the shoulder which is omo omo hyoid muscle and that's jugular omo hyoid node okay so let's dress this up a little bit and talk about how what areas these nodes are draining so if you go to the first one i have here my submental nodes and they are draining this area here around my chin, which is dropping down into this, these submental nodes. So this is the mental area, submental underneath the mental area. So the areas that's draining is going to be the lower teeth, the anterior chin, the anterior of the tongue, and the floor of the mouth in that anterior section there. If I move on to my next ones, we're talking about my submandibular nodes, which are around here. And look at the wide area that they're going to drain over here. We're talking about the upper teeth, the nose, the cheek, the anterior forehead, the anterior nasal cavity, and the sinuses associated, the paranasal sinuses, the lower molars, the premolars, the middle of the tongue, so the middle section of the tongue now, the submandibular and sublingual glands. So it's quite a large area for those submandibular nodes. If I go on to my next one, even bigger, the occipital and mastoid nodes. So what are they draining? They're going to drain the middle and the posterior of the scalp. Remember scalp, which is that um, acronym standing for skin, connective tissue, um, the aponeurosis, and then the loose connective tissue, and then the periosteum. And then we go on to drains the temporal area, the temples, and then also the ear, and the posterior of the orbit, so that's quite deep in there now, and the parotid area. There we go. If we move on to the next one, the jugular digastric and the deep cervicals, they're going to now drain this area coming down here. What have we got in there? We've got the pharynx, which is that common tube for air and water and um, food. We've got the palatine tonsil, which is deep inside there, which sits just in between the two folds when you look in the mouth, which is the 
platoglossal fold and the platopharyngeal fold. You've got the posterior of the tongue, so we did um, anterior, middle, now we've done the posterior of the tongue. The hard and soft palates, which is, forms like the roof of the mouth. The posterior nasal cavity, so heading to the back of the nose where it's going to join onto that pharynx. And also the sinuses. And then the larynx, so we're heading down towards the laryngeal area here. And also the trachea, which is the windpipe. The thyroid gland and also the parathyroid glands, which are associated with the thyroids, para meaning parallel. And the last node is the superficial cervical node, and that's going to drain basically the skin of the neck. So when you're looking at the sort of floor of the mouth, the way things drain, this is quite important for um, tongue cancers and where they metastasize to. If you look, this is the tongue here, and this is the internal jugular vein coming down here, that's your hyoid bone here. This is your sub, um, submandibular gland, sublingual salivary glands. Just look at the way things drain. You can almost draw some diagonal lines. So if you start at the back, if I draw my first diagonal line, I see things from the posterior of the tongue are going to go to my jugular digastric node. If I move this line forward, and I draw a diagonal line now, things from the middle of my tongue and this middle area here are going to go to my jugular homohyoid node. If I move forward again, things from the anterior are going to come down to my submandibular or my submental. And these are then communicating further down, and ultimately things will all go through that jugular homohyoid and descend down and away. So here we have a submandibular coming down to these upper deep cervical, lower deep cervical, and away away things go, heading to the thorax. And as you know, the whole lymph system drains in at the um, subclavian veins. Thank you.